Hi, Jeremy Young coming at you from Broadfield Distribution, Long Island, New York. Love this town. So what I'm here today to talk to you about is a couple of things. First one is the Sumo 19, Sumo 19M. We've got an update 8.4, which gives you a lot of new features. You can record 240 frames a second in RAW from on the Sumo 19 from Vericam LT, which adds to the, the 240 frames a second RAW we can do from Sony FS5 from the FS7, as well as some Canon cameras. So check out the list of RAW capabilities. And the main thing that this, that this does, it's, it's a recorder, a playback deck, an edit device, and a monitor all in one. And not only is it a monitor, it's a really big, fully capable HDR monitor. And what that means is we solve for you all of the issues shooting HDR. Many of the cameras have been pumping out log, which equals HDR, but a lot of people don't know that. If your camera's got log, then you have HDR capability and you can start to promote it to your customers. And we understand that some of these things are a bit baffling. So what we've done in 8.4 is give you the full suite of tools automated, provided the camera's outputting the right things, which most of them are, because we're working with those camera makers to make this seamless for you. So we recorded this in S-Log, but inside this, this file is a flag that tells us which format it is so that we can turn our monitor into the fully auto HDR functionality that allows you to produce properly. So what, what you're seeing here is a 3200 HDR right at this end. If I bring up the menu, you've got HDR and SDR slider, and we're right at the SDR end. Look what happens when I go to the, the SD, uh, we're right at the HDR end. We're right at the SDR end now, and we're blowing everything out. That's what would normally happen if you were trying to shoot really open, getting full light into the pixels. What, what HDR allows you to do is turn up the exposure, get a lot of light into the pixel, get really clean pixels, and getting really bright pixels, and now our monitor can resolve that for you. So look at what happens when I move towards the SDR end. I start to resolve all the detail in the cloud. And you can see my waveform here is moving up the HDR slider. Now, at this point, I don't even know that there's some lightning in the shot. However, as I resolve more and more of that dynamic range, which is brightness range, dynamic range is just another word for brightness range, as I go further to the top of that, now I'm fully exposed my blacks, so you can see all the cloud detail, and I'm showing the really bright points. Why can we do this? Because we have a 1200 nit engine behind here, and we control every pixel, every color space, every brightness of those pixels, and we control them so that we can turn this into what your eye saw, just like the camera saw, taking in all of that brightness range. Your normal TVs can only display this. So what we'd have to do is stop the whole image down and we get noisier and the image doesn't, it doesn't show true to life what the actual image looks like. Whereas my eyes, when I shot this, could see those lightning strikes. So let, let's play this through. As we play more and more of this footage, you'll start to see some pretty impressive colors and color spaces coming from here. So if I just pause that, what does it look like in, S, in SDR? Well, it's completely out of range, which is what we're normally normally seeing. But as I move the HDR slide and resolve more and more of this, why can I do this? Because I'm recording log. I'm recording either raw or log, which has all this information in it. And what I'm doing is showing you if you finished for an HDR TV, which all the TVs in the electronic stores are HDR capable, it would look like this. It doesn't mean that I have to finish like that. It means I've got the option to finish like that. I could finish like my current TV standards, and it would still look fine because I can take whatever range of brightness I want, either this range, this range, or the whole range, which is what I'm showing you here. I still get my blacks. As this is moving, you can still see all the detail in here. Rec. 709 or SDR, you cannot capture that. Look at those colors. Look at, look at what happens when I come back. I lose a lot of those pristine colors. As I bring it into range, now I can see how much detail is in these clouds. For all those creative people, it means that you can be more creative. It means you can capture more of what your eye can see. When you imagine something and you can see it with your eye, you don't have to compromise on your camera anymore. Provided your camera's got log, you can shoot HDR today. There's more automated workflows coming with HLG and PQ, which we read those flags over HDMI, so we've taken care of that for you. That's all in 8.4. If you've got a gaming unit, we can record from that. And this goes to all of our Inferno series, the seven inch. 
which is 4K P60 and HDR, or down to our 4K P30 versions, the Flames. And they start from $750 and go all the way up to $1295. The Sumo is 2500 for recording. We've got the Sumo 19M, which is monitor only. We get all these features monitoring from the camera and all of the wonderful peaking and, and all the tools that, that we are famous for, really easy to use. You can see I can use the operating system even if I was a five-year-old. That's not to say creative people can't use tech products. It just means you don't have to think about it and you can get on with being more creative. And that's what we're about at Atomos. So that's the Sumo 19, Sumo 19M, 8.4, all the way to the Infernos. You can now record 240 frames a second from the LT and FS5, FS7. Killer, killer upgrade.